All right, hi Cancer, this is gonna be your reading. This is for Cancer placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles and pick which side of the story you're on. So, Cancer placements, what do they need to know right now? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know? So we have collaboration, number 45. Uh, backup, unity, and enhancement. Okay, so you guys could be working on a project with other people or another person. Uh, you you and you could be trying to get on the same page with others or, yeah, this could be for work. Okay, this could be in, in the form of a partnership. Whatever it is, I feel like everybody, uh, it, you could be networking, being around like-minded people or, being, or you're needing to. This could be for school, work, a project, co-parenting situations uh family whatever it is what else what else for cancers you know delegating tasks you could be reaching out for help or helping or you could be part of the help what else commitment number 34 Uh, binding, obstruction, and contract. So somebody here could be feeling caught up in a bad contract legally, business-wise, okay, even romantically, possibly. Some, somebody could be trying to get help with getting out of some type of contract or putting somebody in one. We will see. We will see. The tower will tell us more. What else? Somebody could be feeling uh, stuck here. What else? And then we have luck, number 32, jackpot, fortune, and reward. Okay, so some of y'all could be, you guys may get lucky playing the lotto, or you may get lucky with something, or somebody's trying to get lucky with something here. Number 55, evidence, detection, investigation, and proof, and introvert, and illness. Okay, so... Somebody, something is being looked into by a group of people. This could be what you do for work, or this could be, you could be hiring somebody to look into something for you. Or you're working with others to get help, to get proof. Somebody here could, we'll see. The readings have been crazy. What's this collaboration for cancer placements? Ace of Swords is here. Okay, so everybody, this is like focus, concentration, a breakthrough, victory, success. I feel like every everything will go smoothly if everybody's on the same page, if everybody can focus more on their strengths rather than weaknesses, whatever this situation calls about. Hold on. If everybody focuses on what everybody is good at doing and how you know everybody can work as a team then everything is going to be smooth okay this is like clarity something is a yes if you've been considering collaborating with someone or for a company or a person the answer is yes you don't know what that's for what's collaboration if you're wondering if something's going to go well it's yes <laughs> as long as everybody is being a team player Okay, and focusing more on unity than separation and ego. Okay, collaboration. That could be what you're trying to do. Ten of Pentacles, Mercury and Virgo. This could have something to do with a family member or, or family stuff, an inheritance possibly. Yeah, King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, October Libra, October Scorpio. Everybody, uh, somebody needs to be the diplomatic one, maybe to get everybody on one accord. There's some you guys are building generational wealth or a legacy here, okay? You could be getting help with something regarding your finances, your inheritance, some type of uh, money, I think. Um, something, yeah, what's this Ace of Swords here? The Tower in Reverse, Aries, Scorpio energy, Nine of Pentacles, your money looks good. Um, somebody could be moving, moving out, getting new land. 
okay across seas or just you could be having if you can have family members that are, are foreign or across seas or at a distance from you or you're going to be at a distance some of you guys could be uh leaving home to travel or returning to travel this is someone else the tower aries scorpio energy this is about restoring something or averting a disaster I feel like everybody getting on the same page, no matter how many people, whether it's just you and somebody else, you list, you and five other people, one other person, ten other people, you and Source and God, as long as everybody's on one accord, you can avoid this disaster here. What's this tower? And so you may even be able to save some type of uh, tradition or even uh, finances a lot of money at that up to ten thousand dollars or something what's this uh or way more 10 million or something we'll see what's the tower in reverse what's the tower in reverse yeah four pentacles in reverse okay capricorn energy yeah there's a tough decision that somebody has to make you may have to make a big payout for something or somebody owes you something somebody needs to somebody's supposed to share something with you or you're supposed to share something with someone ten of pentacles minus the four would be the six of pentacles that's balancing something out by giving back or owing something that's due so you may something could be due and you could be trying to dispute something okay if you've been if there's been money that's been withheld that's going to be released Somebody may have to give you something. Somebody here could have tried to steal something from you, or maybe they did. Okay, this could be a position, money, an inheritance. Um, there was somebody here could have been being greedy, or this could be you flip and switch it. Was four pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the hermit, Virgo energy, something. Okay, so there could be some type of theft that's been investigated or that's being investigated or is going to be. If somebody stolen, whoever, if something was stolen or taken. With the Ace of Swords here, there it's going to be found out. Something is missing. You can have Virgo in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or you're dealing with somebody that has Virgo in theirs. Yeah. Somebody's looking into something. Somebody could be a private detective or hiring one. What's the hermit? Somebody could be shelling out a lot of money for a private investigator. What's this hermit? Yeah, Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups about? So something new beginnings. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups? The Emperor in reverse. So it could be about a father figure, Aries energy, or a mother figure. Take it how it resonates. The Emperor in reverse could be a lack of organization, a lack of discipline. So there could be somebody in this group that lacks discipline, like you see the potential, you're trying to find the potential within someone or somebody's having a hard time digging within to find the potential within themselves. But somebody here fears change. That's the problem. There's potential here for something. There's an opportunity for something. And there's potential for longevity, growth, abundance, a legacy. I mean, this could be love, business, whatever it is, but there's somebody here that's set in their ways. Somebody could be older in age. I feel like somebody's just set in their ways. Man or woman, no matter how old they are, somebody's set in their ways. Page of swords in reverse. Somebody's a liar. They're childish. Somebody has poor communication, possibly. This could be a manager, a, a student, a professor, a, parent, a parental figure. Somebody lacks discipline. They lack of inner authority. Somebody's trying to abuse their position, possibly, in this business, this group this family situation, whatever this is. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, King of Pentacles. Somebody here could be a millionaire. Or they have, or somebody here is, you guys could be business owners, good businessmen, businesswomen, CEOs, or something like that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, April Taurus, April Aries. Somebody could be self-employed. They work for themselves, but they're abusing their position. This person could be trying to hold on to their money, so they don't want to share. Something needs to be looked into. What's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, it could have something to do with family, a broken home situation. What's this King of Pentacles? Maybe the way somebody makes their money. Okay, uh, King of Pentacles. It could be illegal. The hangman, Pisces energy. 
So somebody, like I said, they're ignorant. They're set in their ways. They Somebody who's refusing to shift their perspective. They're narrow-minded. Somebody here could be getting caught up in something, trapped. Because the hangman in reverse could be about stagnation. It could be about stalling. Somebody could be stalling on something. The hangman in reverse. Okay, the temperance. Somebody could have been somebody could have did something in haste. Or if you're tempted to do something in haste or for something, you Sagittarius energy. You or somebody can have Sag in your chart. Yeah, somebody needs to take their time doing something. Somebody could be really disorganized, the chariot in reverse, something with the uh eight of wands in reverse, something about bad timing. Somebody here could be getting locked up, losing their access to transportation, travel. Their car could be getting towed. What's this temperance? Yeah, Knight of Swords here. Gemini, Taurus energy, May Taurus, May Gemini. Somebody could be wanting to do something in haste or impulsive, but they need to, they need to not. Yeah, this is like a, they need to not do that. Somebody could be trying to antagonize someone or get somebody to, somebody's getting caught up in something. Or they could be trying to save their own ass in this situation. Somebody could be coming to you with information or vice versa. Somebody's walking away from this group, this team, or whatever this is. Yeah, somebody could feel embarrassed. They got to take this L. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Somebody here could have missed an opportunity. If had they just been patient, they would have had this in the bag had they just did the right thing. I feel like somebody here doesn't want to, they didn't want to change. They just were set in their ways. They didn't want to do something the right way. Somebody did something in haste. There's a negative pattern on repeat here. Somebody's impulsive. They're, what's this emperor? Who's this emperor in reverse? Who's this emperor in reverse? And Cancer's reading. Yeah, Seven of Cups, Venus and Scorpio. The death in reverse, Scorpio energy. Somebody doesn't want to change. Somebody refuses to change. Somebody could be watching somebody from fake pages or creating illusions, trying to feed somebody the potential of an opportunity, but it's just smoke and mirrors. Somebody here could be purposely trying to can because there's clarity with this ace of swords, but somebody's trying to can somebody is trying to prevent somebody from looking into something, whether it's a professional or just themselves. Somebody's trying to keep somebody confused. Knight of Swords. There could be help coming in with this. Yeah, page of pentacles, whatever, whatever, something is gonna be intercepted. Knight of Swords. Yeah, seven of swords. Moon and Aquarius. Somebody is, yeah, three of cups in reverse, Mercury and Cancer. Uh, somebody could be getting paid by, I don't know who this Queen of Swords in reverse is. Somebody could be getting paid to do something to somebody. This could be a couple that's in on something. It got something to do with a child. Yeah, this page, this page of cups belongs to this Queen of Cups. Somebody could be trying to leave somebody out of money or leave somebody out of something. Somebody, yeah, somebody here could have even been paying people to lie on a person. This could be a group of friends. There's a lot of malicious gossip. Seven of Swords, yeah, somebody is sneaky. Somebody is, is trying to do something. They're trying to play, somebody could be trying to play something cool here. I feel like people are turning on each other in this group, whatever this is. Something's going to be investigated or looked into. The Seven of Swords always thinks they're getting away with something, but they're not. Somebody here, because this could be one of two things. Either you're, because the Temperance could be in Temperance Angel, where you guys are going to be, whoever's innocent in the situation is going to be protected from some type of hidden helpers or something comes in in the nick of time to intercept something or something happens, something doesn't go through. Somebody could be delaying something. I don't know. But whoever's innocent is going to be okay. Then for others of you, somebody thinks they're getting away with something. 
they're trying to disguise themselves, cloak themselves. This could be energetically, physically, whatever this is. Somebody's trying to, somebody with the four of pentacles in reverse, that's stuff. The seven of swords, somebody's trying to take something from somebody. Somebody's trying to commit a crime, pretty much. And they could be having help from family or friends. It's really weird. This is like a, a work environment. People are turning on each other. So you need to be careful who you're telling telling stuff to. I wouldn't trust nobody at this place of employment or this person's family or anything like that. Somebody's trying to get away with something. What's commitment? Some of you guys need to keep your moves in silence. Okay. Somebody could be trying to cause confusion. What's commitment? Something about the way they're communicating. This person is being, somebody's being shady. Somebody's being shady. Somebody could be trying to figure out how to get away with something or to do something without being seen, without being, without sacrificing themselves or without getting caught. Somebody could be trying to buy time and stall on something. What's commitment? That Queen of Swords in reverse September Virgo, September Libra, it could be Gemini or Aquarius, but this Queen of Swords in reverse is, the Queen of Swords is Virgo, Libra energy, September Virgo, September Libra. Somebody gives bad advice, they gossip, they lie, they're nasty, they're very bitter, they're very mean-spirited, and they're very toxic. That could be somebody's mother, sister, cousin, friend, man or woman, a co-worker, somebody that you're supposed to do business with, you don't know, what's commitment? You have five of pentacles. One of these people are going to get the short end of the stick. That's why you don't sit there and do shit out of malice. You you working with a group of people who have evil intent and you think they're not going to do something to you? Especially if you're somebody that's supposed to know better. That's called, This is somebody's karma. They're going to be, they're not going to get this ten of pentacles, ace of pentacles, whatever they think they're getting. They're going to be left out of something and they're going to be mad. They're going to be the only ones caught up in this bind, whether financially, legally, spiritually, whatever it is somebody's making a poor decision a poor decision a poor choice five of pentacles mercury and taurus commitment yeah page of wands two of wands here I feel like somebody is, these people could be trying to, these people are trying to, somebody could be trying to like, because they're they not homeless. These people, if you really look at them, they don't, they're not struggling. They got good quality clothes on. I don't know if somebody wanted this for you, for you to struggle, for you to be binded and obstructed. But what they what they don't know is you have hidden helpers. Some with this y'all may have a choice to make here. You may really have to move in silence or keep something hidden or to yourself. Two of Wands, Mars and uh Mars and Aries. What's this five of pentacles? Yeah, nine of pentacles. You got hidden helpers. Venus and Virgo. From the, yeah, from the 10 to the 4 to the 5 to the 9. Whoever's innocent in this is going to be okay. Somebody could be freeing themselves from a marriage or something or a business, a contract of some kind. Somebody's going from the Ten of Pentacles is like with family, other people to the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's becoming single or they're going into business for themselves. They're separating themselves from a group. They are trying to, you know, somebody is willing to stand alone with you. Or, or you're willing to stand alone by yourself, but I feel like somebody's not really alone. Somebody thinks somebody may think because a person is by themselves, they don't or they don't spend time around a lot of people, that they're alone. Maybe they don't have a lot of friends, but they got they got, again hidden helpers that don't play about somebody. 
somebody trying to take a shortcut and they're going to end up in jail. Yeah, the devil here, child. Somebody's going to end up in jail. Somebody may have addictions with money, substances, all types of shit. Nine of Pentacles. Now, for others of you, this could be somebody here that lives beyond their means. Or somebody is withholding money from you, not wanting to give something to you. Or you don't want to give something to somebody because you want to upkeep some type of look or image. That could be it too. Somebody here could have wanted you to be confined in this five of pentacles energy. So you wouldn't be in this nine of pentacles. But you're in this nine of pentacles energy regardless. You have new exciting plans. Okay. Uh, what's this nine of pentacles? Somebody, yeah, ace of wands in reverse. Somebody could have been trying to make something regarding your finances, your business, challenging for you. This could be a father figure for some of you. Or a boss, somebody that has some type of authority, a parental figure, I don't know, a teacher, you don't know. Ace of Wands in the verse. Yeah, the judgment, exactly. Yeah, somebody was warned not to do something. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Somebody was warned to walk away, to stand down. And they didn't, they, they ignored the warning signs or they just, they didn't care. This person could want to make, a, this, this person could be being forced to walk away from going up against you because they cannot defeat you. Eight of Cups, somebody has to walk away from something. Okay, what's this judgment? <laughs> Nine of somebody's being born, nine of wands, moon and Sagittarius. You are too resilient. You have self-awareness. You go within, you do the shadow work. You're you you know you're very you're very resourceful. You, you somebody wanted you to like somebody could have been trying to keep you bound or they were trying to do something, but it's not working. Especially if you be minding your fucking business. And you're not doing shit to nobody. It's like what? Or cross watcher, cancer could be doing this to you. I don't know. Nine of Wands, Moon and Sagittarius here. Yeah, you, your guides are on to whatever these people are trying to do. This Nine of Wands is side eyeing everything over here. Your guides are on it. Nine of Wands. Somebody's got yeah, the Moon here and the Sun. Something is being illuminated here. Yeah, something. Somebody wanted you to what? Lower your standards back down be defeated something is going back on somebody you're listening to your intuition some of you guys are very intuitive queen of cups queen of cups june cancer june gemini you're very intuitive something's being illuminated there could be something about a child or who you have kids with something's being illuminated yeah somebody's trying to get off scot-free or yeah and for some of you guys it could be because what well, somebody's in love with you or you're in love with someone else some of you guys are in an interracial relationship for some of you not all of you and for others of you uh there's love here you may have a child with somebody there's love here you could be married to this person but i don't know what somebody else is doing behind the scenes Yeah, somebody's going to have to answer. So somebody's getting locked up or going, or there's going to be, if somebody's on their way to do something to somebody, their car is going to break down or crash, or these people are going to get arrested or pulled over on their way there. Whatever somebody is trying to do to someone or something to obstruct somebody's path, it's not going to work. The moon here, intuition. Somebody could be trying to project some type, there's some type of, this judgment could be about past stuff something karmic a karmic lesson you've already learned this lesson i know somebody's trying to re-traumatize you re-traumatize some abandonment wounds that you already overcome and they're not working they're working with other people to to do this to you what's this uh not what's this moon here something doesn't something there's an undertone to what somebody is doing or what they're saying or what's happening i feel like something may not you may sense that something doesn't feel right Okay, and you need to trust that. What's the moon here? Cancer Pisces energy. What's this moon? Yeah, the world. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus energy. 
somebody could be trying to do something at night somebody here you want somebody's walking their dog or somebody something seems innocent but it's not that that ace of wands could be about a disinterest a lack of enthusiasm you've accomplished something i feel like you've already you've already overcame something learned something on your subconscious or you're overcoming it some of you guys this could be about forgiveness maybe you need to forgive someone something's being there's a goal that's been achieved and accomplished or somebody's goal was to keep somebody bound and obstructed the magician in reverse yeah virgo gemini energy somebody can have a mercury in virgo or gemini what's this page of wands and two of wands yeah eight of wands in reverse mercury and sag So somebody's goal, I don't know if somebody had a bright idea or a plan to start an argument or a fight with you. This could be like energy harvesting. Because when you argue with people, that creates a core. They're able to harvest off your energy. Somebody's been projecting something onto your subconscious to keep you stuck in some type of loop and cycle that you already overcome and passed. What's this eight of wands in reverse? Yeah, Eight of Swords. Somebody wanted to keep you... St Look at the devil, the high priestess, the justice in reverse. I can't make it up. Eight of Swords here, Jupiter and Gemini. Somebody here... I'm telling you, there's a lot of dark shit. This could be something with your sexual energy or just your energy. Something was unjustified. Capricorn here with the devil, high priestess. Cancer, Pisces, the Justice, Libra. Somebody did something that was... Un Somebody's getting bad karma for even planning and thinking this out. Somebody took advice from somebody that's just... Yeah, somebody took really bad advice. Somebody could be trying to invite you out somewhere or get a... Somebody's trying to now, they want to be nice. But it's only because whatever they try to do is not working. It's like a group or mob of people that could have been trying to de defame your character, your reputation... Somebody here, there's trouble heading somebody's way. Mm -hmm. Somebody here could be getting locked up, boy. What's the Eight of Swords? Trying to, this is like binding. Yeah, binding, obstruction, and contract. The Eight of Swords, binding. Somebody's been trying to bind somebody energetically. And because something isn't energetically working, what they're trying to plan something in the, in the, in the physical, that's not going to work. Eight of Swords. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Somebody could be trying to stage a kidnapping. Moon and Taurus. <laughs> or stage or get or pay to do something. Yeah, they want to hit the jackpot. Something, whatever somebody thinks they're gonna get away with, they're not. Yeah, this could be a group of people. This is all this is all for money. Somebody's gonna take the money and walk away. Something is not gonna work. Something is not going to work because one of these people are super shady. They only care. They're only out for themselves. They will rat on whoever, tell on whoever. If their consciousness kicks in or is fucked up enough, they will rat. Or they will, yeah. Somebody's trying to bind someone's energy or, or, or do something. Three of Cups in reverse is like um, fake friends, a... Uh, uh, this could be a third party. Somebody's. This could be a, a, a married couple or a couple that's a fake ass Bonnie and Clyde that's doing this. What's this Six of Pentacles? Yeah, the devil. Yeah. It's like energy harvesting. Somebody's trying to. Pl somebody's planning on trying. The devil. Something is very karmic. Somebody has really bad addiction. Somebody could be blackmailing somebody. Yeah, somebody. Something. Somebody could be holding something over somebody's head. Somebody doing some shit in the background. Yeah, something has somebody stuck. It could be something on somebody's subconscious or I don't know. Somebody could be paranoid. They're looking over their shoulder. They're about to be. What's the devil? Yeah, four of cups in reverse. Moon and Taurus. This was all to get somebody to miss an opportunity. Will of fortune. Trying to fuck with somebody's destiny, get them off track, or make them feel uninspired, hopeless, anxious, scared. 
And I don't really see a, a valid, this is not even a valid reason for somebody to be doing this. Somebody's just evil or these group of people are just evil. Somebody may come from a line of people that are just disgusting like this. Somebody's been trying to sacrifice somebody or get away with something. What's the world here? Yeah, somebody's walking away from something. Saturn and Pisces here with this uh, Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, December Capricorn, December Sag. Somebody's what, mad that somebody's walking away? A cycle's been closed. What's this world here? You have the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. This could be somebody's spouse or their mother or a friend. Yeah, two of pentacles. The empress upright, the emperor in reverse. Somebody's with a distorted masculine. Or this, if you thought this was your emperor, they're not. Somebody, you could be losing interest in this person. Or I don't know what this is. Two of pentacles. Or this could be you guys. You're a mat. You could be being too passive about a situation. Maybe you're excessively daydreaming on a goal that you want to achieve, an idea that you have, but you're being lazy. You're procrastinating. You're just waiting for something to be handed to you, and it's not. You're gonna have to get up and like put in the effort, put in the footwork. You're going to have to give up something to receive something else. It's like somebody wants to hold on to one thing but receive something else. Somebody's also avoiding change. On a lot of side of things, just this could just be somebody that's just not making any moves. They need to seize an opportunity be or create their own luck, be more, be resourceful, network with other people get out there somebody here could be really shy not you know a little anti-social they they're used to staying to themselves they could be insecure there could be fear here you know somebody doesn't really realize their work it, you know somebody could be also trying to trap somebody with a baby possibly or a child what's this uh four of cups in reverse somebody th yeah, the magician in reverse, Virgo, Gemini. A lot of manipulation here or somebody that's not really utilizing all their talents and skills to make something happen. The universe is waiting for somebody to meet them halfway. That could be what that is too. Somebody's being hopeless. They're being lazy. Maybe there's a creative blockage. Maybe you need to get out of your environment. Somebody could be needing to switch departments or switch some things up, do some things differently. If somebody's feeling bored, apathetic, there's, you know, somebody's not honing into their full potential. Somebody has the right ideas, the right uh, skills and talents, but they're not really doing anything. They're, somebody's holding themselves back. Okay, that could be what that is too. Somebody's holding themselves back. What's luck here? Jackpot, fortune, and reward. What's luck? But somebody could be doing some uh, spir some spiritual stuff behind the scenes, though. King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, October, Libra, October, Scorpio. What's love? You know that Bruno Mars song, Walked Out of Heaven? Anyways, yeah, somebody's walking away from somebody. Um, Two of Swords here, Moon and Libra. There could be a tough choice to make here. There could be a lack of clarity, too. Somebody could be overthinking something with this devil here. There could be, like, issues with control. Somebody's abusing, like, maybe somebody needs help with something, and somebody is, like, trying to blackmail or make somebody bend to their will or submit or something like that if somebody's doing something dark though something has a very dark undertone yeah something is just very it's not five of swords in reverse it's not good king of cups yeah the chariot in reverse somebody is hateful this could even be discrimination okay it could be discrimination Maybe somebody knows, somebody got something because they know somebody in the company, the institution, whatever this is, or they're close or they did something. Some, something has a very negative undertone to it. Regardless if it's spell work or not, something has a very manipulative and dark 
undertone to it. However you want to spend it, try everything in reverse, Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with another Cancer, or this could be you. Somebody is hateful. This is hate triumphing over adversity. Try in reverse. Somebody could be lost. They're lacking. Somebody lacks direction, but they know they want money. That's really, that's the problem. Somebody's just, what's the try in reverse? Somebody needs to get into their heart space. What's the try in reverse? Okay, Queen of Pentacles is here again. December Capricorn, December Sag, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Two of Cups. Some of you guys, the chariot in reverse, you're being redirected. You're being protected by a spirit guide. This could be a passed on loved one an ancestor somebody's trying to redirect you somewhere else three of wands here aries energy that could be what that chariot is too some there's a roadblock you're hitting a roadblock when it comes to a, a certain person place or thing because you're being redirected there's something better that is going to be more in alignment with your values you know you're not going to have to lower your standards or values for something whether it's money a business a relationship or friendship family nothing two of cups here venus and cancer yeah some five of cups here yeah whatever somebody's trying to do is not going to work <laughs> you could be seeing two 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 sagittarius sagittarius got two 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 so you or somebody can have sag in your chart sun moon rising and venus yeah, you have a, a better connection. You're going to hit the jackpot with something or someone. What's this Two of Swords? Or you're going to feel like you've hit the jackpot in something. Two of Swords here. Yeah, Page of Cups. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your intuition. You may need to investigate something or whoever you're bringing on your team, whoever you have around your kids, or whoever you're deciding to collaborate with in some kind of way, work with, build with, whatever this is. Yeah. Page of Cups here. Somebody could be really shy, reserved. What's this Page of Cups? Somebody could be really sensitive. Listen to your intuition. What's this Page of Cups? Somebody could admire you. You have the Fool here. You got something new coming in, Cancers. Aquarius, Aries energy. What's this Fool here? You have Three of Swords here. What? Saturn and Libra. What's the Three of Swords about? Somebody could be overthinking. Okay, the Strength card. Something could be going on with somebody's heart. Or you guys are being called to detach from something. Stop trying to control the situation. Let go. Release control. Master the art of detachment. There could be something that's... Somebody needs to, somebody needs to go within to make a decision. Yeah, something was planned and orchestrated between this could be because the King of Pentacles is all the way over here somewhere and then the Queen of Pentacles is right here. Yeah, the, this could be a couple that thinks or somebody thinks there there's people that a couple or, or friends or family or who co-workers who people somebody thinks they're getting away with something. The strength card, Leo energy. What's the strength here? Yeah, the, the the Seven of Pentacles, Saturn and Taurus, the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, a bad choice, a bad decision. I don't know. Do you, what's the strength here? Yeah, Five of Cups in reverse. I feel you're going to overcome something. Okay, whether it's a spell work, manipulation, a loss of some kind. Five of Cups in reverse is Mars and Scorpio. What's the Five of Cups in reverse? The High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy. Some, somebody sees the bigger picture in something. I don't know if that's in a good way or not. What's this high priestess? Listen to your inner voice, your intuition. High priestess. The king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, July, Cancer, July, Leo. Have you on the Leo energy? 
Uh, for some of you guys, the third party, there could be a woman who's married. They could be staying with somebody, living with somebody that they're not really into. But they have this king of wands who they're, or they have a, they have a king of wands who they're in love with, who's at a distance. Or you could be the person that somebody that's in love with somebody else or the person that they're in love with. Somebody's not satisfied with where they're at with and who they're with. Somebody here may even be pregnant by somebody else. Yeah, because the, the emperor's in reverse. Somebody does somebody here could be pregnant. They don't know who the father is. There's one couple here, but two different masculines with no pairs and matches. And then there's a page of wands that belongs to this king of wands and that page of cups that belongs to the king of cups. I'm going to leave it there. Somebody could be in a connection, and but somebody's refusing to leave somebody regardless. Somebody, even if somebody's not the father of a child, I don't, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this is not the first time somebody cheated on somebody or done something. This could be a woman who's cheating or somebody's in love with somebody else. They could just be staying with this person because they've been together for a long time. They grew up together. They Maybe there's, you know, kids involved, the kids that they do have together, if they do, for some of y'all. Um, a lot of shape-shifting here as well. A lot of, yeah, it's... Yeah, this, this reading was crazy. Somebody needs to look into something closely. I don't know if somebody's trying to make somebody forget or make somebody second-guess their intuition. It's a lot going on here. Somebody could be lacking the resources to travel or they want you to lack resources so you can't get ahead, whether that's travel, move forward in life, or move on or something. And this could just be manipulation. It could be spell work. Somebody's paying for it or... This could even be blackmail I'm getting. That that the lovers in reverse is like a lack of trust, a lack of intimacy, no sex, or there's just if there is sex, there's a lack of intimacy. There's a very nasty undertone to whatever this is, however this resonates for you. Somebody here is supposed to be a leader, but they could be doing some weird shit behind the scenes. Somebody has a the third party is another man, or this could be a woman who's into this could be somebody who's into the same sex. That could be it too. It's either somebody could be pregnant. They're not the father of a child. They, somebody here got pregnant by somebody's friend. I think I got I get that a lot for Sagittarius and Capricorn's readings. Somebody got pregnant and they're and they're they don't know who they don't know who the father is. Somebody here can have really bad addictions. They dabble under in, into t a, a lot of different drugs and they do things while they're under the influence, possibly. Child, somebody has tough decisions to make. Let's get some TV. But the third party, the other person is another man. Whether somebody's into the same sex or some or the opposite sex, it doesn't matter. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Yeah, somebody's undependable and insincere. You can't trust this person. Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. Somebody's dealing with somebody at a distance. Or somebody at a distance is into you. What else? Yeah, somebody can't be trusted. <laughs> Dog, protection from a powerful friend. But again, whoever's innocent in this is protected. Somebody's, if, somebody ha, if somebody's trying to rob somebody at night, you guys may have a dog that's going to attack this person or attack these people. Okay, or somebody can have an ancestor. Um, guys, people who've passed on that are protecting. Okay, what else? This king of wands could have been the, the culprit behind all of this. I don't know. Or this couple, the Queen and King of Pentacles. I'm getting a whole bunch of different stories. We got wrath, wrath, sorrow over a loss. Yeah. Somebody could be trying to act like they don't care, act like they are happy because they got money or whatever, but really they miss you or they're sad. 
but possibly for some of you. What else? Yes, there could be some type of loss here, okay? I don't know. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. So maybe you guys, there's some type of inheritance that comes from a loss. Okay, what else? Or that came from one. Tulip, great passion. Somebody is seeing another man. Or this is somebody's spouse who's on a down low. If it's a man, they're on a down low. And then this is a woman. They could be into the same sex. Or they're, somebody's dealing with another person, man or woman. Skull, hidden secrets that can harm you. Yeah, hidden secrets that can harm you. I'm telling you. A lot of, a lot of deception and a lot of things are hidden here. Wishbone, a wish is granted. Else. needle and thread a sincere wish will be granted so if you guys have been wishing for protection again whoever's innocent in this situation will get what they will get what they want everybody else i don't know hand in need of help assistance and guidance so you guys may need some type of help assistance or guidance this could be professionally spiritually okay what else romantically fly a period of ill health and depression so somebody could have been trying to project that onto you or maybe some of you guys are sick or somebody's been trying to make somebody sick to get money or to i don't know or everybody, I don't know. It may not even be for money. It could just be because, I don't know. Somebody, I don't this is archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Yeah, and with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, there was opportunities, but I feel like somebody got sidetracked somebody here could be really superficial what else somebody had a choice and we got dogs getting together with friends i feel like somebody got with somebody's friend bouquet compliments from an admirer so somebody here could like this is something could be happening in may yeah mud the forest muddled unclear thinking somebody is not somebody could be scatterbrained Position of authority, yeah. Air, good news. Mm. Again, some of you guys may have an admirer who's into you. They could be building up the courage to say something to you. But I don't know. I feel like somebody's uh, antennas are going off about a situation. There's a very weird undertone and darkness to whatever this is. I just can't really put my finger on it. And that's pretty, yeah, there's some, there's some stuff here. If you've been seeing a lot of flies, somebody could be trying to project uh, sickness and illness onto you. Somebody could have been trying to even do death magic. Maybe you don't, you don't die, but maybe you just get sick. Okay. You could be dreaming of flies or you just seen them all around your house or around you. Somebody could be trying to project that onto you. I feel like somebody wanted you. I bet you uh, again, whoever's innocent in this is going to be protected. Your finances, your health, they're going to be protected. Who's this, who's this um, empress real quick? Yeah, the king of swords. This could be a man or woman. Somebody's shape-shifting. January Capricorn, January Aquarius. This could be somebody's mother. Somebody's mother could have like short hair. could be gray, brunette or whatever. Yeah. Somebody here could be into the somebody's into the same sex, or somebody goes both ways, or somebody is living a double life here. Somebody's living a double life. This is your reading, Cancers. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Somebody, there's somebody here that that knows the truth about something. A mother figure, somebody's spouse. Somebody knows the truth, but I don't. I think they're just not saying anything. They may have somebody else for themselves on their side, so they don't care, or they're acting oblivious, especially if there's money and stability involved, or kids, they want to keep the image, keep their family, but they could be doing them too. I don't know, there's something a little shady here. 
and if this is about money, a business, a collaboration, there's somebody here that's out for themselves. Some, something needs to be investigated and looked into. Something is not what it seems. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors. But this was your reading, Cancer. It's like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.